Uh, Ruslan, what are your thoughts on dealing with the consequences of sin? Yes, we're forgiven, but what do Christians do with their scars practically? Well, for one, Dan, great question. Well, I would say make sure they're scars and not open wounds, because I think so many people have moved on and think that their scars are scars, and they're not quite scars. They haven't calloused. They haven't they haven't transformed into scars. They're they're still fresh wounds, meaning that like you take the band aid off, that joint might get infected. So like. Foundationally, we have to recognize that are these scars or are these fresh wounds? Is it is it kicking kick, like if you if 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 that part gets damaged again, can it come apart? And I think sometimes that's the part where we're like we're too we're too we get a little too confident with what's a scar and what's a wound, right? Like we get a little too confident. Let me give you an example. Like in my issues with lust and pornography, if I'm not dig- vigilant and careful, I just be like, bah, I got this area conquered. What does it matter if I watch a couple movies with some scenes? And don't fast forward through those scenes or don't have my wife with me. Right. And, 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 and I got to be careful because you you start you start playing around with with, with, with with stuff like that. You start putting your hand on the stove to check in the stove side and you you could easily slide back into some of that self-destructive. Behavior. And now it's not a scar anymore. Let me see how I'm doing with. Uh... Let me see if I'm really still struggling with lust. Let me go look at a movie <laughs> yeah. with an overt sex scene and just see yeah, what I'm yeah. doing. Right. Um, so I think we have to be careful to one, just like. Is is it a scar or is it still an open wound that you need healing on? And if it is, you got to be careful. You got to be diligent. You got to have boundaries. You got to have parameters. So great question, Dan. So that, that that would be point number one. Point number two is um, sometimes the, the things that are consequences to sins are actually things that God allows us to walk through so that we learn the lesson and we're sanctified. So, like, there's natural consequences. I was just listening to my man, Sean, Sean Cannell, who runs a YouTube channel, and he did a super dope podcast, and, and, and it was it was actually really good with Sean. Sean's one of these guys that, like, I love him to death, but he'll do, like, real silly stuff. Like, he'll get, like, the biohacking and, like, the stem cells and, like, the the, the red laser therapy red and all this stuff. really good for right? you. And then all along, I'm like, hey, man, like, you know you probably should consider compound lifting and training properly. Okay, like, before, before you're, like, like, I had a buddy of mine that hit me up and was like, Hey man, I'm having trouble losing weight. And I was like, oh yeah? And he's like, yeah, I think it's the salad dressing. How do I tell him? Dog, it's not the <laughs> salad dressing. <laughs> it ain't the salad dressing, bro. It's your entire diet. Like yeah. there's other stuff you're eating that's bad <sighs> for you. So I think sometimes uh <laughs> we'll get we'll get caught up in the thing that the oh, it's the salad dressing. It's the it's the uh, I'm not getting enough red light therapy. I'm not spending enough time in the in a sauna. I'm not cold plunging. And it's like, well, what is your diet and what is your nutrition like? And so I, I say that to say, and now he's strength training, though. Now he's okay, actually respect. getting it. Now he's and, like an athlete. Yeah, and, and thank you for saying that because that connected to where I was going with that point because <laughs> I was lost. I was straight up. I was lost. I was like, where am I going with this? Zach, help! Chat, help! Dan with the super chat, help me! Okay, so where I was going with that is that he was open and transparent and he was having health issues and, and, it, was, and it was causing a lot of issues. And he said... I had I have to be okay with the reality that it took me 15, 20 years of not taking care of my body, of not exercising, of overworking, of having bad posture, bad diet, um, working my my arms too long, not eating right. And now, like, it's not gonna take a few months. Mm. To turn everything around. That's good. It's not gonna day a, uh, it's not gonna be a 75 hard that's gonna turn it all around for you, bud. Yeah. Right, like you might have to do multiple seventy-five hearts, because it, you 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 did twenty years of damage on your body with just not taking care of it. Then you stacked alcohol and and and, and he talks about all this alcohol uh, consumption, which does a number on your body, cannabis consumption, which does a number on your body, mm-hmm. and you added all these other things that not it wasn't just like you just weren't taking care of it. You were actually hurting it, mm. and then we want like. A microwave result and it's like sometimes god's not a microwave god he's a he's a it's a crock pot after the incredible success of our bless god prayer journal many of you guys began to ask for something that had a planner and so we combined our bless god prayer journal with a brand new leadership planner that jam packs the same things from our prayer journal with a planner goal setting leadership meeting and notes With the next pages, you can see different sections right along here of this leadership planner where you can start out with actionable goals, 12 months of calendar, our original prayer journal prompts, our leadership journal with the proven problem solution framework, and of course, just free write notes. 
This leadership planner is based off of Matthew 25, 14 through 30, which of course is the parable of the talents. The vision of the planner is to help you make the most of your time, talent, and treasure. Head over to blessgod.shop and get yours today. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace. Sometimes yeah. it might take a while. And so I think in terms of dealing with the consequences, certain consequences may just be with you longer while you're turning it around. So like, let's just go to the most egregious egregious example right now and i hate to keep bringing this up robert morris in that what happened he has hurt so many people lost the trust of so many people and people are like oh are you saying he could never be forgiven that's not what i'm saying mm. i'm saying that the consequence of said act of said sin the most egregious is gonna take time and it, he may never likely will never be in a pulpit ever again mm. we pray so the consequence of a sin like that is go is going to follow him for the rest of his life. Yeah. Right? And so it's like certain consequences of sin, God has established a world. I think this is so other people learn, so other people watching will learn. Like like if like if you've ever been close to someone that's went through a divorce, you understand the consequences of a divorce on the the mental health, the financial situation, the the spiritual health, the kids. You go you walk with someone through a divorce and I've seen Multiple people divorced. I've been close to three people that have went through really bad divorces. Mm -hmm. It's about 15 years ago. And, bro, you become so hyper vigilant to never go through a divorce. Like, I'm never even getting near a situation like that ever mm. by the grace of God, right? And in that, you go. Uh, so I think God allows us sometimes the consequences because a, wi a, a smart person learns from their mistakes. A wise person learns from somebody else's mistakes. Sometimes your scars and the consequences of your sin is helping other people see to the, the pitfalls to avoid. Right. And that and those consequences may be longer, it might just take longer, man. You out here, you, you get divorced, you commit adultery, sexual immorality. You be, you're forgiven. Yes. And amen to that. You're forgiven. But the consequences of that are, 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 are going to be with you. So I think I say the first two things that it's like, yo, fam, it's just a mindset. Like you just got to be OK with the mindset because I like you probably like, all right, come on. Like I'm, I'm ready to move on in this area. Yeah. You know, oh, I, 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 I was really lean couple months ago, and then I started traveling. I got sloppy on my nutrition. Okay, I'm not going to see the scale jump, but let me fall in love with the, cons with, with, the, with the process of consecration instead of obsessing with the consequences of my sin. That can preach. This man writing a book. Let me, right, seriously, let me, <laughs> let me fall in love with the process of consecration instead of obsessing with the consequences of my sin. See, when you're sitting at that scale every single day obsessing about the number of 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 not going down fast enough. You're dealing with the consequences of your poor eating, your poor health routine for decades. You've done this for decades. You think it's just going to turn around in a couple weeks? C consume yourself with the with the with the with the process and of consecration, not the consequences of your sin. And that has nothing to do with you being forgiven. You could be forgiven, but it's going to take time for the for the for the boat to turn. And so, in that, um, and and I would say the last part, Dan, is like support and community. Like supporting community is probably where you're going to get the most breakthrough because if you're in some sort of support group and some sort of su support accountability group, something like that, you're probably going to be more likely to um, to like experience freedom mm. with other people walking through it and get encouragement or at the very least like have a place to share which can be cathartic. Right. Sometimes people don't have outlets. It's safe places to share. Hey, I was dealing with this. Hey, this right. This thing flared up again. And I think having that is so helpful in, in, in my life. That's my therapist, Dr. Rudy. Like I could I could pretty much tell Dr. Rudy anything, mm -hmm. not just stuff I've done, because here's the thing. When eventually you don't go from um, eventually, you, I believe that most people will, 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 will like you'll work out the big sins. Yeah. You work out the bit. You're not gonna be lying. You're not gonna be cussing. You're not gonna be uh, looking at porn. Like you, you lean into the, the the things we're talking about on this channel. Eventually, those big sins are gonna go. But 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 like ripping the lust out of your heart. Mm. That's gonna. You still gonna have to work on that. How I view women, I still gotta work on that. I gotta be intentional. I gotta I gotta remind myself of the Bible verses. Proverbs 31. I've made a covenant with my eyes to not look at a younger woman lustfully. Uh, Paul writes how that we should we should regard women as sisters in the faith and mothers in the faith right that, so i gotta like change that, that but the, but those desires those those desires or sins those that that heart still needs to be confessed to someone yeah this is where like even if you haven't looked at porn great whoop-de-doo awesome praise god 
you still need somewhere to go to work with the deeper root and just like how you view women in an objective way that's gross. Yeah. Then I don't mean gross to like shame you and say like you're a pervert. <laughs> right? I'm not saying that. Yeah. Even though, you know, if, if you look at that porn, you're kind of a pervert. You yeah, know? A little bit. A little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it in the sense of like have somewhere where you can confess the 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 issues before they become issues. Does that make sense? So that w- I would say the, the the third step is that. So hopefully that was good. I think that was good, Dan. Thank you for a question. That was a, and, and a 